Hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. Cassie here. I am in the middle of editing two amazing recipes for your holiday table. One being chicken liver pate with chicken chips, and the other is a delicious eggs benedict. Totally carnivore, well, maybe a little ketovore. There is some lemon involved and some seasonings, but the beauty of it is you can make it your own. And you heard me right. I'm editing the whole thing. Larry hasn't touched a thing and he won't. So let me know in the comments what you think. Did I do a good job or did I bomb? Before you lay your eyes on these delectable recipes, let's thank the sponsor of today's video, Element. It doesn't matter what low carb lifestyle you're enjoying, whether it's ketogenic or the carnivore diet, it's really important to take your electrolytes. Larry and I really enjoy using Element. They come in single serving packets that has everything you need. 1000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. And I love the fact that they contain no sugar, no fillers, no coloring, and they're gluten free. I enjoy one packet a day unless I'm fasting or exercising, and then I'll bump it up to two to make sure I stay hydrated. If you haven't heard the news, Element brought back last year's seasonal flavor, chocolate caramel, and they made it a permanent staple. It's available now, and it's amazing in coffee. As always, Element's offering our viewers a free sample pack with any Element order. That's eight free single serving packets with any order. I love this offer because it's the perfect opportunity to try all the flavors before placing your next order. You can have Element delivered right to your home using our link below, drinkelement.com forward slash carnivore quest. It's the perfect way to get the quality electrolytes you need and support our channel at the same time. So head on down to drinklmnt.com forward slash carnivore quest and get yours today. And Element has the best customer service around. If for any reason you're not 100% satisfied, keep the product and receive a full refund. Thanks again, Element, for sponsoring today's video. Now that we're hydrated and we have our electrolytes, let's get into some breakfast. I have for you Eggs Benedict. Carnivore Eggs Benedict. Perfect for breakfast, brunch, or any time. The ingredients for this masterpiece are in the description. Cube and season your chicken breast. Cook it in butter and then put it in the fridge to cool. Next, let's crush some pork rinds. Now, let's add our cooled chicken breast and add it to the processor. Make sure to remove any hard chunks from the pork rinds. We don't want anybody to chip a tooth. Now let's add pork rinds, chicken breast, and some optional cayenne pepper, if you like a little heat. Now, let's take out some aggression on these eggs. Beat them well, and add most of the eggs to the pork rind and chicken mixture. Remember, it's easier to add as needed. Yep, it was just enough. I decided to add about a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. I'm glad I did. The seasoning lent the mix a nice flavor. After melting some butter in a pan, patty and fry the mixture for about one to two minutes per side over a medium high heat until both sides are a beautiful golden brown. With the pan still hot, warm up that delicious Canadian bacon. Just look at that beautiful texture. Absolutely perfect for the base of our Eggs Benedict. For the hollandaise sauce, we're gonna melt two sticks of butter. Now we'll heat the water to just under a simmer for the poached eggs. Don't forget to add the vinegar. Add the yolks to the blender and some freshly squeezed lemon. When life gives you lemons, make hollandaise. Add the lemon juice, Dijon mustard, and it's time to get melty. Add the butter to a pourable cup. Turn on the blender and we're going to slowly, and I do mean slowly, add the butter. If you've ever made mayonnaise, you know what a process this is. Midway through, we're just gonna scrape the bottom to make sure everything is well incorporated and then return to pouring the butter until it's all in there. Just look at that texture, absolutely perfect. Now that the water is at a perfect temperature, not quite a simmer, create a whirlpool and add the eggs. 
Cook exactly three minutes to achieve a perfectly runny yolk. Now it's time for assembly. Add the patties, Canadian bacon, get your perfectly poached eggs, and place on top of the Canadian bacon. And for the very last step, add that decadent, delicious, rich hollandaise sauce. Top with a little cayenne and enjoy. Chicken chips with chicken liver pate. Ingredients and measurements are in the description. Aside from a small amount of shallots, garlic, and seasoning, this is a carnivore appetizer that everyone will love. First, let's start this recipe with two chicken breasts. Slice and cube in pieces small enough to add to the food processor. Add the chicken to the processor, blend on high until it's a nice, fine consistency. Our seasonings consist of a little smoked salt, Himalayan sea salt, and cayenne pepper. Incorporate the seasonings with the chicken meat. Cover a surface with parchment paper and take one third of the chicken mixture and cover the top with plastic wrap. Press the meat down and take a rolling pin and roll the meat thin, paper thin. You'll almost want to see through it. Once you've rolled the meat thin, remove the plastic wrap and place it on top of a baking sheet. Pop it into a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. After 15 minutes, flip the meat. You'll do this three to four times to ensure that there is no more moisture and the meat is brown and hard. Remove from the oven and set aside to let it cool. Over a medium heat, melt two tablespoons of butter. Add your chopped shallots and four pieces of chopped bacon. Saute the bacon and shallots for a few minutes. Add your garlic and then your chicken livers. Now we'll take 10 ounces of butter and add them to the pan. Add some poultry seasoning. Now add roughly two to three tablespoons of heavy cream. Stir everything together and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Remove from the burner and let it cool for a few minutes. Once it's cooled down a bit, add that delicious mixture to the food processor and blend it well. Give it a good scrape and blend a little longer. You can spoon it into individual ramkins. You'll get about four four ounce ramkins or just put it in one giant bowl. Now it's time to take that cooled, hardened meat sheet and turn it into chips. After you've arranged your chicken chips, add your ramkin to the center of the plate and enjoy this dish warm. Absolutely delightful. You're welcome. I hope you all enjoyed those as much as I enjoyed making them and eating them. <laughs> if you have any questions or any recommendations, leave it in the comments. I always enjoy reading your feedback. Happy holidays, my carnivore family. And until the next time, no sugar, no carbs, and no cheating. Love y'all.